Hey everybody, it's Shawn Michael with Geek.0 and I finally am doing this. Uh, I've put it off for long enough. Um, so uh, I had sent out a message on Twitter and, and Facebook and let everybody know, uh, for those of you who follow us, um, I have not watched a single episode ever of The Simpsons. At least not a full episode. I have seen bits and pieces and clips uh throughout the last 28 years that the television show has been on the air. And I think that just about anybody would be lying if they said that they hadn't seen some part of The Simpsons in that period of time. Um, it's completely and totally permeated all forms of culture, um, from advertising to other television shows uh, to, I mean, you name it. So um, uh, it is surprising to me, though, that I, in this entire time, have never actually sat down and watched a full episode of the show. Um, so I, I put it off for a long time because I wasn't sure what to expect from the show, and I honestly wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Um, and as time went on, uh, obviously I got into other shows, I've watched other stuff. Um, I'm a huge South Park fan. Um, and so my perception of The Simpsons was that it's going to be a bunch of uh, stupid gag humor and uh, that it was a show about a snotty, self-righteous, rebellious kid and who just played stupid pranks on his teachers and told people to eat his shorts. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised. Um, and I know that uh, for some people, the first thing that comes to mind is, well, dear God, if you like South Park, you have no right to, you know, thinking of The Simpsons as a uh, toilet humor show. Um, but South Park is an incredibly well-written show. Uh, it's it's very, very deep. Um, and aside from the profanity and um, the absurdness of it, uh, it, it tackles a lot of real big social issues. And I didn't think, um, once again, not having seen any of it, I didn't think The Simpsons did that. And so... Uh, I figured it was time to buckle down. If a show's been on the air for 28 years, there has to be something to it. Uh, and so uh, I figured uh, I was the one in the wrong, and maybe I should give it a shot and see what the show was all about. So I started. I uh, made a, a pledge to all of you and uh, to myself that I would binge watch 28 years of The Simpsons as my schedule would allow. Um, I made it through the first season. I've actually made it uh, through two, but we're going to talk about season one right now. Um, and, uh, I gotta say, I'm s pleasantly surprised. Um, the show's far better than I gave it credit for. Uh, and, uh, I'm kind of sad that I missed out on this experience. Um, part of me as I'm watching this show, um, and the tone with which it's written and, uh, the rebelliousness and just kind of the, the writing in general that Matt Groening put into this show makes me wonder what my perception of the show would have been had I watched it originally, uh, when it, or I should say back when it originally aired when I was 13. Um, obviously my perceptions would have been far different uh, at that young age than they are now at 40. And I'm very curious as to what my feelings would have been towards the show and how the, the episodes themselves, the characters, the writing would have resonated with me. Um, uh, the the characters in the show are very very well written. Um, they're very cool. Uh, I've been forewarned by almost everybody I know that the voices change after the first season, um, and so to expect that change. Uh, but uh, I found a lot of humor in it. It's it's got a lot of heart too. Um, almost every episode has a lesson. Uh, which I did not expect from The Simpsons, not after uh, the, the little things that I have seen along the way. Um, some of the cool things about it, I got a very uh, G.I. Joe uh, feel from it. As, uh, uh, you know, any of you who know the G.I. Joe show um, from the 80s, at the end of every episode, you know, G.I. Joe would come out on screen and, and uh, he would let you know, uh, about an issue related to bullying or being kind or, uh, you know, uh, obeying your parents and uh, tie that into how the episode went. And, you know, it's where the whole the more you know thing uh, started. Um, and now you know, G.I. Joe. So um, 
Uh, the Simpsons does a lot of that. Uh, each episode, when you go through the episode, you can see the lessons there, but uh, um, there's a nice little message uh, that's very subtly written into uh, the conclusion of each episode um, with what that episode is about. And I'm really shocked with what this show is and the fact that it is centered around this this uh, this rebellious um, finding his place uh, young boy and his family and uh, those people around him. Um, I'm really surprised at how much uh, in the way of family messages there are in this show. Uh, it's not what I expected. There's a lot of themes that are that are uh, hinted at. There's a lot of themes that are directly put in front of you related to togetherness, uh, that are related to cohabitation um, and uh, love and respect. Um, and and I mean, there's there's probably hundreds of them at just in the first season alone. So I'm really excited to see where they take it. Uh, you know, with 28 years, 600 some odd episodes, I'm assuming, uh, um, uh, later. So very interesting. Uh, from the first season, some of my favorite plot points or some of my favorite uh, uh, themes, uh, or not themes, but uh, I, I don't know, uh, storylines, let's put it that way. Um, obviously, uh, Krusty the Clown uh, and... Uh, getting framed. Uh, that was fantastic. Uh, you saw a little bit of Bart coming into his own, um, be being, being the sleuth, uh, not just being the kid, that kid, you know, from the school and at home. Um, that was very fun. Uh, Crepes of Wrath was just absolutely fantastic. It was a great, great episode um, where Bart uh, ends up getting shipped off as an exchange student uh, to France and ends up getting put to work by the wine mafia. Um, and of course an Albanian student gets traded over and he's uh, a spy trying to steal governmental secrets um, uh, so that was a that was a great uh, episode um, Homer's Night Out was fun uh, the Telltale Head uh, was, was very fun uh, about Jebediah Springfield um, there were a couple episodes that wasn't like the they moved the st the plot and the storyline along. They were they were good for what they were, um, but they weren't uh, they weren't as memorable as some of the others. Um, Homer's Odyssey was was rough. That's a that's an interesting episode. Um, Homer gets fired from the the power plant, um, and uh, he just sinks to a really low level. Uh, uh, in that episode, and you get to see some of uh, Homer abs absolutely at his best and worst. Um, so, and then Bart the Genius was very good, episode number two, um, where uh, Bart lies his way into being in with the gifted kids uh, and then realizes uh, very quickly uh, be careful what you wish for. So, uh, all in all, the first season's a lot of fun. Uh, it is everything that uh, many of my friends told me it would be. That people have told me over the years that I got to give it a chance. Uh, that there's much more to the show, um, and that uh, you know there are all these, uh, like I said, these are all these thematic issues that are that are dealt with throughout the show, um, and uh, uh, as well as a lesson to be learned from each episode. So. Characters are good. Um, I do like them. They're fun. Uh, some of them are, uh, I don't know, some of the stereotypes that the show puts forth. Uh, I don't like, uh, obviously, Dad's portrayed as a bumbling buffoon, absolute moron, idiot, uh, incapable of, of virtually nothing, uh, anything, I should say. Um, of course, Mother is the glue that holds everything together, so there's that whole, you know, without Mom, everyone would be... Uh, helpless um and uh, dad is virtually useless other than occasionally bringing home some money and he's not always all that good at that so um not super keen on that uh, it reminds me of the shows that have followed in his footsteps in the years after uh, peppa pig uh constantly trashing on the father oh daddy you're so fat and worthless um so but uh um Bart is a great character. There's a, a ton of depth there that you don't see if you just take him at face value. And if you give him a chance to kind of, you know, watch and explore his world and see where he takes things, it's very interesting to see. So 
Uh, first season, a lot of fun. Uh, very interesting. Not what I expected. Uh, better than I expected by a fair degree. So I'm going to continue to binge uh, uh, the rest of the 28 seasons uh, at the pace that I can. Um, and I'll be posting updates as I complete each season. Figured season by season would be a great way to do it. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, if there are things that I should be watching for that I should keep my eyes open for, or things that, uh, that you guys want me to know about the show, please, uh, post them down in the comment section below. Um, and let me know. I, I'm, I'm open to uh, any suggestions uh, as well for favorite episodes for, you know, seasons two and on. I'm really looking forward to uh, season three. Um, many people have told me that season three through nine um, has been pretty much a general consensus uh, are some of the finest television ever. So season three for nine are are the essence of uh, three through nine, I should say, are the essence of what The Simpsons has to offer at its very best. So um, looking forward to getting into those. So uh, anyway, if you guys like the video, uh, press the thumbs up button. Uh, tell us you like it. If you didn't like it and you hate it, uh, let me know too. Um, let me know what I can do to be better about it. Um, and uh, always check us out at geekpointo.com, G-E-K-P-O-I-N-T zero.com. Uh, and of course, on YouTube and all the social medias, check us out on our Twitter page at geek, uh, twitter.com forward slash geek point oh, G E E K P O I N T zero. We uh, post a lot of updates, uh, everything that's newsworthy in the world of gaming and tech and some stuff pop culture. So, uh, yeah. So take a gander, follow us, please. Follow us and like, uh, like and subscribe on the video, and uh, stay tuned for season two of The Simpsons. Later, guys.